Greetings again, magic folks. I have an awesome trick to show you today. This is called The Visitor, and it's by Larry Jennings. Now, in this trick, the four queens play an important role. So, I am just going to take the deck, shuffle it, and let the spectator pick a card. And let's say they pick this card right here. Let's take a look at it. It is the Five of Clubs. So, this is where the uh, Red Queens come into play. If I actually want to take the uh, chosen card and put it between the Red Queens like this, and then put all three cards to the side. Now I'll just make one, car one pile of cards right here, and stick the three cards on top of the other pile, after which I am just going to bury the cards bury those three cards such that they're well hidden. Now this part here is where the black queens come into play. I will just flip them over like this and with a snap the chosen card appears and what's even more significant is that it is now sandwiched between the black queens. Now I'm just going to snap it again and when I flip the cards over the chosen card is gone. Where did it go? Back between the red queens. So for this trick, I begin it by merely putting the queens in place, or they can be already on the table in place, it doesn't matter which. Then I just give the deck an ordinary ripple shuffle and ask the spectator to pick a card. Now let's say they pick uh, this card right here. Now as the spectator is looking at the card, in this case the two of spades, I actually slide the top card off this pile and make a pinky break such that I am holding on to it. At this point I tell the spectator that this is where the uh, red queens come into place, so I stick those two on top of that other card I'm holding. Now, what I also do is I slide the bottom two cards off with my right hand such that we have the Queen of Diamonds and the other card that I was holding which was a Joker. So, and then I tell them that I want to put the chosen card between the Red Queens and I stick it like this. So now I have four cards hold, held onto and now I, grab, I firmly grab the Queen and the Joker, and as I put the cards together, I tell the spectator that I'll put all three of those cards, the two Red Queens and the Chosen card, but it's only two cards. The Chosen card and the queen, other Queen are still here. So then I take about half the cards and I make one pile there, and then in the other pile I stick these two cards on, and as I do so, I grab the queen only with my middle finger and hold the rest of the cards with my ring finger and then I take about half of this pile stick them on top still holding on to that queen with my middle finger and then the remaining half I put on top such that now the uh, queen of diamonds is at the bottom of the pile face up now for this next part as I'm explaining that this is when I need the black queens I actually take two cards and make a pinky break such that I'm holding two cards right here and I stick the two uh, uh, black queens on. And then I just give them a flip like that. I flip all four cards over and then I just do a snap or whatever magical uh, gesture comes to mind and then I have all th and then I take the top three cards like this and the chosen one is between them. Now for this part, one thing you need to do is hold with these two fingers, cover the top right corner of the top card and make sure the bottom left cover or bottom left corner of that card is hidden so that when you show the spectator that the, the chosen card is sandwiched between the black queens they don't actually see that the bottom queen is actually a red one, not a black one. So I'm just hiding those two, uh, I'm hiding the two corners that show what the card really is. So, as I show these two cards, 
I actually slide this top card off with my left hand and make a pinky break such that when I put these cards back on and I give it a quick snap I flip all four of those cards back over and here are the two black queens and of course the chosen card is not there between them it's really between this red queen well it's really before this red queen and now if you remember this uh, red queen that was face up on the bottom you just put this card up on here spread them out and then you'll see the two face up red queens and the chosen card